What's up guys? We have two ghosts from the past, the second haunting to open today, and yeah, let's just say the set did not treat me well, so let's hope we get something good, man. Hey, we I, I'm probably going to be buying the actual ghosts singles once the prices drop a little bit more. I feel like they're going to drop maybe a little bit more, you know, hopefully for your boy. For your boy Konami, or I guess TCG player, you know. Uh, but we'll see what we get in these two these two boxes. We got our blade here to speed things up because, yeah, let's just say I ain't too happy. I, I really don't want to open more more of this product. Uh, it, it is still a good product. I'm not I'm not going back on that. It's just uh, let's just say I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to gamble. I just want the ghost rares at this point. Let's see what we get. And I wouldn't be too disappointed if we got uh, some more lubers, I suppose. I can just sell them and try to get our money back for this, uh, for this, for the product here. All right, let's see. I still don't know which position the ghost rares are in. I just want to know, Konami. I want to know. We got a Kristan Helki, which didn't get banned, so there's more value in the set. Definitely. The uh, there's some dings in the corner. Not not happy about that. Kind of curious how the ghost rares came in for most people. Last year the um, the ghost rares were they had like back back scuffs. So I'm kind of curious if this year instead of back scuffs we got uh, <laughs> we got dinged corners. Let's see. Well, I mean we're definitely not gonna see. I I'm not holding my breath on this one, guys. We're just having fun here. Ryza the Mega Monarch, which looks different. The colors look different. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but this one looks a little bit lighter. Lighter orange. But that's a good pull. I'll take it. At a point it was a $70 card. Now it's like the low a dollar, I think. So that is crazy. And again, why, what's up with this? The one on the right, Ghost Trick Mary, it looks a lot lighter. That's so weird. Yeah, that's, that's really weird. And it's the, the, the ones in the middle, too. All right, let's see second mini mini box here. Let me know in the comments. I gotta get I gotta get the engagement up, right? Let me know in the comments, guys. If what ghost rare you did you get, and is it the ghost rare that you wanted? Um, and also, if you want if you want to tell me how many products did you guys open? Same thing here. So it seems like the middle one is coming in faded. So that's interesting. Usually the middle one is what I've noticed. The middle position is where the the better card is. So that's. That's interesting indeed. But yeah, let me know. Cause I wanna know I wanna know your experience with this product. I'm definitely like I said, I'm not backing out on it just because I had a bad experience with it. I, I do think over time the set is gonna be pretty good value-wise. Um definitely not the same thing with Ghost from the Past um one from last year. So yeah, th these are all coming in ding though, which I'm not happy about. It's like one if it's not one thing, it's the other, right? I don't remember pulling this guy. Entropy Uranus. Oh no, you know what? I did. I <laughs> I remember making fun of the name. <laughs> of course I pulled it. We got Shell Knight. Nice. I don't remember pulling too many of this guy. I um so I organized it after after I opened the uh the case. And I also did open up so I opened up a case on video and then a half a case just for fun skis and then two displays uh from the store from Target, got no Ghost Rares from either, and I think I only got like less than 10 copies of Shell Knight. So, I mean, for me, it was a very, very hard to get card in in the the products that I did open or the, uh, the sample that I opened up. Nothing too good though. We got Halky, I suppose, but uh, that ain't driving the value up. Galaxy Soldier, hey, I'll take it. Very short printed for me as well, so. Uh, I was thinking kind of, of uh, I've, I've been in, <laughs> I've been investing in the set, and I've, I was thinking about getting some Galaxy Soldiers, but I don't know if the value is going to go down, or if it's like the lowest it's going to be right now, and I should be snagging it right now. We got Dramaturge of Despia, I'll put that there for now. It's always really hard, you know, you can't predict the market, it's the same thing, I love investing in uh, stocks. And most recently, crypto. Oh, I'm not really a big fan of crypto. I think uh, I think what you can do with crypto, you can already do with credit cards, and spe specifically with uh, tokenized um, 
tokenized cards in your mobile phone, like Apple, Apple wallets and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, you can't predict the market, man. I've learned that quickly from my venture with stocks quite a while ago. Same thing with Yu-Gi-Oh here. You can't predict when uh, when things are going to take off. First of all, you can't even predict the ban list, right? <laughs> the ban list really does affect the market. Number 97 again. Now I think we're, uh, we're kind of hitting our stride here. Now we're getting some good cards here. At least cards that I like. Chimera Tech. Retaliating C. I wonder if that card is going to go up in value. Okay, we have one more mini box in this display. We got uh, DDD Destiny King Zero Lapless. I don't remember that card. Then again, I don't think I read the names of the, the, the Triple Ds. I just call them Triple Ds. We do have one more display after this. And we'll see if we can kind of redeem this. Because, oh, we got a, a, a luber. We got the lube. We lubed up here. But uh, it's about a $10 card currently, so it's it, it was pulling it was definitely a better when, when the fir the set first came out. And honestly, I was wrong about that. I, I didn't think they would uh, they would uh, they would print a luber that much in the set. I thought it was going to be more short printed than that, but it wasn't, or at least it wasn't for me. I got a lot quite a, quite a lot of the uh, clown the protector. Oh, this guy. I don't know why this guy isn't in the middle, so he's not considered, at least by Konami, to be like a one of the better cards. But he also seems short printed. All right, let's see. Hell yeah, dude! I, I was gonna say it. I was gonna say I want to see Klugs, and we got Klugs, so I'm happy about that. And then we got a very oh my god, dude! Very damaged fossil fusion, and we gotta get this on camera. Konami, what are you doing? What are you doing, Konami? What is that? Left? What is that on the right? What 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 are you doing, Konami? You, you cannot disrespect Jim. Oh boy, let's get the last display here. All right. Let's see. I don't know why people are sleeping on Klugs, man. They're really disrespecting Klugs. He's a really good card and enables a no TK with just a Neo's Fusion. You just got to open with Neo's Fusion and. Uh, you could actually OTK your opponent if they uh, if it isn't their first turn, and then if it is their first turn or like your, I guess your your first turn going if you're going second um, and you're able to attack, you could use you can combo with um, favorite hero, and your opponent will no longer live if you successfully attack twice with Neo's Klugs, dude. I don't know why people are sleeping on Klugs. But I guess you do have to put in U Bell, which does kind of break you. But that's the price you pay for Klugs, man. All right, let's go. Second display. And oh man, I was going to say, hopefully, it's, they're not dinged. The, God, man. Honestly, at this point, if I'm going to get a dinged Ghost Fur, I'd rather not take it. Because that's going to be very disappointing if the only Vampire Sucker, hell yeah. Um, if the only. Time I pull a ghost from the set is going to be severely damaged. I'd rather not take it, man. That's going to be very. It's going to hit me in the feels. Real good here. I've seen this card kind of going up in value. It is a good card. We uh, we're seeing a rise in synchro decks thanks to the the new ban list. So oh yeah, Crystal Beast of Rainbow Dragon. I should probably buy some more copies of it. Although that's the thing, right? Will they reprint it in the in the Crystal Beast structure deck? Because I kind of feel they have to. But well, then again, people will <laughs> they will want the higher rarity one, right? And we got another number sixty. I will take it. Yeah, we'll see. I, I don't know, man. I I really hope they don't screw up the Rainbow Rainbow Dragon. Not Rainbow Dragon, Crystal Beast Structure Deck. Although at this point it kind of does seem like it's just a Rainbow Dragon Structure Deck because they made another Rainbow Dragon uh, Fusion Monster. Which, um, I think it's the consensus with people that like the archetype and familiar with it, I guess, that we just need more, like, better, um, I'll take that, that Wandering King, uh, that we just need 
a better better main deck monsters at this point to tell you the truth because yeah they've been butchering all the rainbow dragon boss monsters um at this point so yeah come on konami don't don't do crystal beasts like that if you're gonna make a structure deck it's at this point right if you're gonna make a structure deck for them make it busted or don't make it at all because uh i think people are just fed up with half-assed crystal beast support all right so we got two more displays after this one let's see well well my luck or um, lack thereof, <laughs> be another fossil fusion. This one not as damaged, so I will take it. Thank you, Konami. You disrespected Jim, though. I cannot, I cannot forgive that. I, I think we're gonna be unlucky here as well, guys. Far Faris, Ferris, Faris, however you want to pronounce it. We, I think we only pulled less than fifteen. I believe it was the count. So definitely a short printed card, or at least from my sample. Necroworld Banshee, which is also going up in value. The thing about me, man, I I'm pretty good at remembering things. So yeah, like I just know the I, I don't have to like pay attention to the market that much. I'm really good at remembering it. Um, right. So we got Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon Overlord. I, I was also seeing some plunder stuff going up in value, which I'm not. Um, I mean, I can see why higher rarity for it, and it didn't get reprinted in the uh, in the in the what's it called the Megaton from I think it was last year. It was supposed to be that they were getting so supposed to get reprinted, but they didn't. I don't think any of the world premiere stuff that we got in the TCG got reprinted in any of the in any of the tins. So maybe that's the trend that they're going with. They're, they just are not going to be reprinting the. The world world premiere, they call it, right? Which honestly, it's fine by my book. The world premiere stuff is crap. So, I mean, you know, I like Plunder Patrol. They look cool, but are they good? No. So, yeah. Oh man, dude, what the hell is that, Konami? Oh boy. Oh boy, Advanced Ritual Art, I like that. I like that reprint. And then uh, the art, very damaged card is Cypher Twin Raptor. They dissed the Raptor. All right. Let's see, we got Agent of Life Neptune, and then uh, Jupiter as well. It confuses me, because I think in the GX manga, they had, they had planetary cards, but... The fairies are not part of that archetype, right? Maybe they are. I don't know. I, I never actually even read the GX manga. I just know they had the planetary set or whatever. All right, so we have this one display left here. Boral, Boral and Dragon. I don't think we've gotten a copy of this yet. And hopefully hopefully we end with a another lube we need more lube here and a another clues would be nice actually i really love that guy currently it's like a less than 50 cent card but yeah we'll i mean I, I'm, I'm expecting it to go up in value this was also really short printed maybe i should be investing in that although i really don't know time thief i don't know that archetype at all all right last pack here we can't hold our breath we got a Dramaturge, and... Oh, hell yeah, we got... A, we, we we got some lube. <laughs> and uh, a very damaged Deskbot, Deskbot 001 to end it. Very... We're ending it on a very, very high note there, Konami. That's going to be the video, though, guys. Uh, we did get two lubes and a... We got a Klug. I mean, I'll, t I'll take it, dude. I really love this card. And it's not damaged, fortunately. So, well, actually, it kind of is. Come on, Konami. Come on, Konami. You disappoint me. Uh, that's going to be the video. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe. There's some uh, cardboard dust in here as well, Konami. You just, uh, you're, you're doing it to me, man. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.